This is a press review. Today we are going to have a word about Afrin in Syria, about the NGO Proactiva Open Arms and about the Grand Renaissance Dam in Ethiopia. This video is made in order to play by the rules of YouTube. This is not the core of the channel. The core of the channel being those big videos that I upload more or less every three or five months. If you like this channel and that you want to push it up, please put a like and comment the video. You can also, of course, visit the Patreon page. After those 15 seconds of self-promotion, now we can go in the interesting part of this video. Following the last video, which was explaining why I would do short videos, some of you told me that they would like Q&A questions, some of you told me that they would like videos about strategy, and some of you told me that they would like press reviews. Today, we are going for a short press review. We start with Afrin. We haven't been talking about the Kurds of Afrin, but when I started this channel, I started with Qamishli and Hasake, which are two towns in the Syrian Kurdistan. Then we went to Sinja, which is which has been uh, a place where the Kurds protected the Yazidis, which, by the way, are more or less Kurds, and it was in Iraq. And then we have been talking about Turkey and uh, about the Kurds of Turkey. And today we are going in the west of Syria with Afrin. First, let's take the time to see where Afrin is. So there are the two areas in which the Syrian Kurds were at the time of the Islamic State. This is a map that I used at the time. And I encourage you to watch the old videos about Qamishli and Hasake if you need to refresh your memory. It will also give you the opportunity to appreciate my talented acting abilities as well as my well-proportioned haircut. In yellow is Rojova, the part that the Kurds want. Here is Syria, the 23rd of March, according to Live View Map. So in the west is the part which the Turks attacked. The Kurds didn't have the western support and couldn't resist. The Turk forces took the town of Afrin in those last, very last days. In Le Monde, the 20th of March, Alan Caval says that the western countries are divided between their alliance with Turkey and their partnership with the Kurd forces sealed in the fight against the Islamic State. According to him, those contradictory positions condemn the Western world to inaction, to no action. Al Monito underlines the fact that most now believe that Turkey's military intervention in Afrin is a prelude to a wider offensive against other cities under the control of Syrian Kurdish forces. The Washington Post, in its opinion column, outlined the fact that Afrin was under the Russian sphere of influence, but that the nearby town of Mambij is not. It is in the hands of the Syrian Democratic Forces, reinforced by US military advisors, which means that it's much, much more touchy for Turkey to attack Mambij. Now a word about Proactiva Open Arms. Proactiva Open Arms is an NGO. We had a few words about this NGO very briefly in the video about uh, the refugee crisis in North Africa. Just a word, because this video is already longer than what I wanted to do. According to this article of the Washington Post, the non-governmental organization's migrant rescue ship has been sequestered in Sicily by prosecutor's orders. It is also detailed that there is an investigation concerning three people of the association for suspected association for illegal immigration. So this is very, very much in echo with what we have seen in the videos about the refugee crisis. And here is what they now have on their website. If sea rescue is a crime, then call us criminals. So this is it concerning this NGO. And finally, a word about the Gerd, the Grand Renaissance Dam. We have been talking about this dam in a video about Egypt and Ethiopia. In this article of Al Monitor, 
we learned that the Ethiopian government has handed over to Egypt and Sudan in mid-February its unilateral plan for filling the dam reservoir. And following this, according to Al Monitor, the Sudan's ambassador wants a tripartite meeting to discuss this matter. This is the main news that we can find in other medias, in Stratfor or in the Sudan Tribune, for instance. This is it for this very short press review. Please tell me uh, what you think about it. Give me your feedbacks. And uh, also, if you see some words that I'm not using the proper way in English, please tell me, because I would like to improve on that. My name is Patrice Arras. You are on Foreign Chronicles. And à bientôt.